Hey guys, this is my $30 Schwinn Walmart helmet. And this is my $120 Fox Speed Frame helmet. I'm Merrick. And I'm Hudson. Today we're going to be comparing these helmets, seeing how good they work. This is spoke style, and let's get right into it. This is my $30 Schwinn Walmart helmet. If you didn't know, $30, that's a really good deal for a helmet. A normally priced, good priced helmet would be like 80 bucks. And for $30, you get an adjustable visor, um, straps that don't twist all over your face. They actually line really well. They actually feel good. And this little adjustment knob, which is way better than some of the other adjust adjustment knobs I've tried. And you get the little pads that are in most helmets. So this is my Fox $120 speed frame. Um, it's really good. It has straps that are adjustable and then adjustment head knob and nips and then it has these like interior pads and stuff and it has an adjustable visor and yeah good, good bike helmet so we know what you're thinking a $30 Walmart helmet that can't be safe right and it might not be but honestly this helmet is the most comfortable half shell helmet that I've ever ridden with personally we don't know how it's going to stack up with other people we're definitely, definitely going to test it around on some other people but man, $30 for a helmet. Really excited to see how this is going to stack up. Anyway, we're going to be testing these four different ways. First of all, we're going to be testing them on price. That's pretty simple and everything. That's the main review. And then next, we're going to be testing them on the look. And then we're going to do comfort, feel, adjustability. And then finally, we're going to do the safety of them. All right, so first off is price kind of already told you this this is $30 from Walmart really easy to find they're in like most Walmart bike sections that I've seen and this is like $120 off of like Amazon or Fox honestly though 120 it's a little much for a helmet but it's also not too much just if you didn't know what helmets are usually priced at all right now for looks the Schwinn helmet uh, it doesn't look that great it's bland gray matte no glossiness on it and then the teal doesn't really go super well and then the big Schwinn logo on the side if you're a normal mountain biker and you got buddies they might make fun of you for that because it's Schwinn kind of a known Walmart brand that no one really likes and yeah the inside doesn't really look like a normal helmet with no mips in it altogether the looks aren't super great on this all right, so as far as looks going here, it's just kind of like a normal helmet. It has a nice, pretty long visor, and um, a little bit comes, of glossiness. Okay. Yeah, it comes down pretty far on the back. It's nice. Yeah, good protection. And it has that cool yellow mips on the inside. Yeah. That's how you kind of know that the helmet is high end, having mips in it. All right, so now let's move on to one of the bigger tests: comfort, fit, adjustability, all that stuff. All right, so comfort and feel on this Schwinn helmet is amazing. For 30 bucks, it feels good. It's like pretty light. Compared to the Fox helmet, it's not that heavy for 30 bucks compared to 120. It's maybe just a few grams heavier. And honestly, if you got a good strong neck, it's not gonna matter. And then like, yeah, it just feels really good overall. That might be because it has no mips in it. The adjustability knob is great, the straps, lie over your face really well if you have them not twisted or anything and it just feels really good it doesn't shake around too much it has like a little bit of suspension in the back but not much you can get it tight keep it kind of loose the thing is adjustable so it does not in your face or anything it keeps the sun out altogether this is one of the most comfortable helmets i've ever felt i will say it's way like it's quite a bit more comfortable than this it's like the most comfortable helmet i've ever used yeah. Uh, so this helmet is another like kind of average for how it feels compared to that one this doesn't feel that great this is not going to be as comfortable as that one on like a long ride or whatever so I think as far as comfort goes that one definitely wins all right all right so now we got to test a big big part safety will this save your brain if you crash so we probably don't actually need to test this one because Fox tested it a bunch for safety and everything. So this is known to be safe. Highly doubt Schwinn and Walmart tested this out before they put it to the market. 
That's a good point of why it is so cheap. So we are gonna go do some safety tests. It might crack in half or it might perform like a champ. Let's go see. All right guys, time for safety tests. Test number one, the high drop test. Here we go. No damage that can be seen. Maybe a little bit flatter on the top, but no indentation or anything. How does nope. it feel? Looks good, looks good. Yep, feels normal. All right. Test number two, the rock smash. Assessment, small scratches, no real damage. Test number three, even higher drop test. All right, that one was pretty rough, but honestly, there's no damage. All right, test number four. Test four. <laughs> Good boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, it broke. For sure. There's no way it didn't break. It is dented a little bit up oh, here. Oh, it's cracked right there. Oh, we got a little oh, bit of no. crackage. Okay, we're going to do one more test. Turn test number five. Can you see the, crackage the shattering? Oh know. boy. You might not be able to see that, it, but it's right Right here. there, yep. Crack, okay. Okay, so that test was pretty severe. Right. I think my helmet, that would that would probably break too. Maybe a full face helmet wouldn't break, but. Okay, so now we're going to do some jump tests or something like that. So when you come off a jump and you go like this and you lose your hand on the bar and go. And then your head is going like this. It's just slamming across the ribs and whatnot. The helmet, still alive. No more damage, really. Okay, let's go try it on one more jump. The jump we're working on here. All right, and so, there's one more kind of crash that you might be able to do. <laughs> you come up here, and you, for some reason, lose your bike, and you're just flying. Visor coming out, and you for some reason don't your head under. It's going like this. Visor in straight first. The visor, very dirty and it's a little bit looser. In the front, yeah, a little bit dirty. Cracked a little bit right there. A little bit of crackage right there. But not much though. The whole thing is still stiff though. It's not, you can't feel that there's a crack on this. All right, so the overview of these helmets, starting with price, Walmart wins. $30 to $120, big difference. Next, looks, Fox probably wins this. Walmart didn't do that good with the looks, but they tried with the teal. You can tell that they tried. And then three would be comfort. Walmart wins outstandingly on this. The comfort of this helmet is amazing. I asked other friends and people how they thought it felt. They all agreed that the Walmart one felt way better. And then safety. The Fox one is definitely safe. They tested that many times. But the Walmart one, although it did break, it's supposed to do that. If it doesn't break first, then your skull is going to break. So overall, this Walmart helmet is amazing. I recommend buying it. It's worth it. Your friends may laugh at you, but you should probably go buy it. Please subscribe. We'll see you later.